Hi, this is Aaron Turpin from GreenBigTruck.com and AboutAlternativeCars.com. Today I wanted to talk to you about how electric cars work. When most people hear the term alternative vehicle, they usually think of an electric. But there are a lot of people that don't really understand how an electric car or vehicle actually operates. So I wanted to just quickly explain that. An electric vehicle has three basic components to its drivetrain. That will be the energy storage medium, which could be batteries, hydrogen fuel cell and tanks, um, any number of things. It could even be a, uh, an internal combustion engine that provides electricity rather than propulsion. Then it will have some sort of control unit, which will include things like an inverter and other things like that. It controls uh, the electricity flow, how much of it is used, and uh, when it's used. Then it will have a motor, and the motor is the unit that actually converts the electricity to mechanical power or movement. So the basic layout of an electric vehicle will have some sort of energy storage. So if it's batteries, which will be the heaviest part of the vehicle at that point, they will be put on the vehicle in a position that would equalize the weight across the vehicle. That's assuming the vehicle is well made. So in the same way that uh, auto manufacturers that make gasoline cars put the engine and the drivetrain components and other things along the vehicle. So they'll put the engine up front and then they'll put the transmission somewhere in the center uh, in order to try to equalize the weight across the car uh, and then the fuel tank in the back, which should balance the weight more or less. An electric vehicle will have the batteries slung in such a way that they're equalized. Usually that's, or, that's down the center of the car. So it's directly underneath the driver and passengers um, or whatever. The control unit can be fairly small. They're not usually that large. The control unit will be a computer that does several things for the car. Um, and, you know, different manufacturers have different setups for what their control units do and how they work. All of them do three basic tasks. All of them control the flow of electricity from the uh, power source to the motor, uh, which determines the speed of the car and uh, other things. They Almost all of them also include an inverter because most electric vehicles use alternating current in, uh, well, in a motor powered by alternating current, whereas batteries or most other storage mediums will be putting out direct current. Um, and so the control box will include something that converts that. Then the motor itself is what determines how fast the car can go, how long it can go uh, because of its energy efficiency and how much power the car has, how much horsepower, torque, whatever you want to measure. Um, one of the great advantages to electric vehicles or electric motors is the fact that they have full torque right from the beginning. So at 0 0.1 RPMs they have full torque, whereas a, an internal combustion engine, uh, gasoline or diesel, will have a specific torque range. It will have a range where the torque is at maximum by uh, when uh, in balance with the fuel usage. Anything below that or above that uses more fuel than torque. Um, so it's important to understand that that is one of the biggest advantages to electric vehicles. One of the disadvantages, of course, is that uh, there are only so many ways that we know of right now to store electricity efficiently and uh, on, with current technology and manufacturing these are not mainstream solutions yet it's going to be a little while batteries have a tipping point where they become too heavy to uh, to balance what they're giving in terms of range uh, and power and then on the other hand uh, hydrogen fuel cells are still pretty expensive to make and uh, other other sources either don't store energy long enough like supercapacitors they only store for a few seconds so those are the reasons why electric vehicles aren't mainstream yet now we see most major auto manufacturers working on something electric a lot of them working on several versions of an electric vehicle the base components of an electric vehicle are always the same, which I've just explained. 
it's the energy storage that always changes. The Fisker Karma, for instance, is a plug-in electric vehicle, which means that it runs on electricity all the time, but it has a uh, internal combustion engine. In this version, it's a gasoline engine uh, made by General Motors, which moves or which provides electricity for the car. So that is the energy storage medium. Uh, it also has some batteries uh, for a short range, uh, similar to the Chevy Volt. Um, another electric vehicle is the Toyota Prius, which is a hybrid. That means that the gasoline engine also propels the car uh, on top of the standard uh, uh, electric propulsion system. All electric cars include things like the Nissan Leaf and the Tesla Roadster, both of which have around a hundred mile range. Uh, the Nissan Leaf has about a hundred miles and the Tesla Roadster has around 120 miles. Um, for that 20 extra miles you subtract seating for three and you add about a hundred thousand dollars to the cost. But regardless, uh, those two cars are all electric. Then you have hydrogen fuel cell electric cars and there are several companies working on those. Uh, Toyota promises to have one in production by 2015. They have test models on the road. Honda is the same. They have test models on the road and promise to have them out by 2015. BMW just started um, taking lease orders for the F-Cell um, that they're going to be test testing uh, mostly in California. Then you have the uh, Hyundai who is promising to have theirs on the market by 2013. Uh, and there are several other companies. Uh, hydrogen fuel cells are one of the uh, one of several major types of electric vehicle you're going to be seeing in the relatively near future. So hopefully I've given you an idea of how an electric car or vehicle works and you have a little better understanding of what a uh, what an electric vehicle can do and why it may or may not be better than uh, internal combustion. So this is Aaron Turpin with GreenBigTruck.com and AboutAlternativeCars.com and hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.